Hello, I'm Dr. Barry Pecos, York Region's Medical Officer of Health. Thank you for tuning in to our COVID-19 update, which is now being shared every other week. Let's start with the big news. The last of the provincial mask mandates and several of the Chief Medical Officer of Health directives have been rescinded as of June 11, with a few exceptions. Regarding masks, the remaining requirements in healthcare settings and on transit at the provincial level have now been removed. However, as you will likely know, all 17 GTA hospitals, including those in York Region, and almost all healthcare settings are still requiring masking by patients, visitors, and staff, but is now on a facility by facility basis. There is no doubt that in any healthcare setting where there may be vulnerable or older or immunocompromised people present, it is most certainly best and may be required by the facility to wear a mask. Regarding transit, while York Region Transit and the TTC, among others, will no longer require masking on vehicles and property, for your safety and peace of mind, as well as the safety and peace of mind of others in the community, I would still strongly recommend you wear a mask in all transit settings. Our YRT Mobility on Request services will still require masking, similar to the requirements of TTC Wheeltrans. This is a wise and prudent policy given the potential vulnerability of many paratransit users, as well as their comfort and well being. As you may know, the Ministry of Long Term Care guidance still requires masking in retirement and long term care facilities. Again, this is a prudent and necessary measure in those settings. In general, please be kind to anyone who is not comfortable with the current situation, knowing COVID-19 is still very transmissible and present within the community. I still encourage you to always have a mask with you in case you're faced with the three C's, confined spaces, crowds, or in close contact with someone, especially if they are vulnerable or immunocompromised. Now to our overall COVID-19 status report. Our wastewater findings in York Region continue to be modestly positive, showing a decrease in our Western Vaughan sewer shed and stabilization in our Central York Region sewer shed. Overall, in Ontario, levels seen in wastewater, particularly in the GTA, are at a lower but stable level and are not continuing to decrease rapidly. Hospital admissions in York Region are about half what they were a month ago, which is great, but they are still persistently high and stable meaning they're not meaningfully decreasing at this time. In Ontario, overall, hospitalizations are about a third of what they were at the six wave peak in early May, but they too are persistently high and stable at over 500 admitted patients. Unfortunately, the acute care system is far from pre-pandemic care levels with a significant backlog of cases and ongoing healthcare worker capacity challenges. We are looking forward to a summer that will likely look very similar to pre-COVID times for most of us, but in the public health and health care world, and for the many, many York Region residents who need those services, things will still not be normal. We know that a seventh COVID-19 wave is very likely in the fall or winter, both because of waning immunity and waning vaccine protection. So our goal over the summer is to get cases and hospitalizations as low as possible, so that they're starting from a much lower level as we go into the fall. How can you help? You can get vaccinated and you can help communicate this to friends, relatives, and others. We know that the COVID-19 vaccine is a three-dose vaccine for almost everyone. All teens and adults over age 12 need at least three doses to be protected. In York Region, about 90% of those over 12 years old have received two doses, but only 60% have received all three doses. Getting your third dose is important to boost your immune system for long-term protection against hospitalization and death. Studies confirm what we had hoped for, that a third dose not only protects you, but it also prevents transmission and protects others. A third dose has been shown to keep viral loads low and decrease the likelihood that you'll pass it on to others if you do contract COVID-19. In communities where everyone does have a third dose, it contributes to decreased overall transmission and decreased prevalence of the virus. This is what we need to return to pre-pandemic life. If you're over 12 and have not received your third dose, please visit one of our clinics, regardless of whether or not you've had COVID-19. For those who have yet to have their third dose or are in need of a first dose or second dose, you can walk into any York Region public health clinic right away. Children who are 5 to 11 are currently eligible for two doses, but we know that only half of children have received both of these doses, even though almost 67% have received just one. While COVID-19 illness is generally mild in 5 to 11-year-olds, many have become ill and required hospitalization and some have experienced long COVID symptoms despite a mild initial illness. Any children that are in this 5 to 11 age group who have only one dose, please get, come get your second dose right away. 
preliminary data from our colleagues at the Institute for Clinical Evaluative Sciences here in Ontario have shown that one dose only provides a very modest protection from Omicron, but the two dose almost quadruples this protection. Please come in for your first and second dose before you go to camp and certainly before you go back to school in the fall. A third dose for those 5 to 11 is now available in the United States and will likely be coming to us here in Canada shortly. We're also looking forward to the authorization of the COVID-19 vaccine for age six months to five years, and this is expected sometime during the summer. Also in the summer, closer to the fall, there will be a bivalent Moderna vaccine that provides improved protection against Omicron. Finally, if you're over 60, there's very strong evidence that no matter how good you feel, your immune system doesn't sustain a strong and ongoing immune response to the vaccines as those who are younger, so you do need a fourth dose. The good news is that you can now walk in and receive a vaccine without an appointment or with one if you prefer. You can find a clinic near you at york.ca slash COVID-19 vaccine, or you can call Access York at 1-877-464-9675. A fourth dose is particularly important for those who are older and more vulnerable at higher risk. Looking forward to the summer, vacations, and long weekends ahead, we hope to all be gathering outdoors and feel comfortable seeing our loved ones. I encourage you to do so, as socializing certainly has mental health and wellness benefits. However, please remember that COVID-19 remains a very real concern, and if you're showing any symptoms, it's best to remain home so you don't transmit COVID-19 or any other virus to others. Stay safe, enjoy the weather, and get vaccinated if you haven't already.